Wait a minute. Hold on, little people, Nims. I ain't even started yet. Talking about some poor connection. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Ooh, divinely grateful. Right, zings, right, zings. Good morning. Great morning, great morning, great morning, great people. Y'all, I'm excited about, oh my gosh, I got so much to talk about today. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Divinely grateful risings. Welcome to this morning's message. Y'all, come on in. Tap the screen. Share the live. Share the love. Great morning, great morning, great morning, great people. <laughs> Divine and grateful risings. Great morning, Mo. Wait a minute. I can't hardly see. Great morning, Moesha Nim. Great morning, Teresa. Divine and grateful risings. Hustle Bunny. Hustle Bunny. Let me tell you how I was dying laughing at you yesterday. Child, look, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all about it in a second. Girl, I, child, I was dying laughing at you on that Instagram post yesterday. I said, you thought I was big boned, didn't you? Did you read it in my voice? Did you read it? You read it in my voice, Denny. You heard me say it. You thought I was big boned, did <laughs> Yo, tap the screen, share the love, share the love. Good morning, Mona. Demonic Grateful Risings, Empress Angel. <laughs> Y'all, I was so tickled. Y'all, tap the screen, share the last share the love. Good morning, Gigi Nim. Okay, let me tell y'all. Y'all, I was done. I really be interacting with y'all, right? went on my on different platforms if you follow me on different platforms like i respond to y'all and so i was dying laughing at hustle bun and she followed me on instagram y'all make sure y'all go run my numbers up on instagram right so y'all know i be posting pictures of myself and other y'all know last week we were doing the 21 day self-love challenge which i actually finished 21 days of posting a picture of yourself so you know that self-love is the best love right and so Hustle Bunny didn't follow me on Instagram, right? So she over there, she was just like, wait a minute, sis. You fine, fine. Oh, baby, don't. <laughs> just because y'all see me sitting in this car. Uh, okay, child, I'm a scrumptious 175 pounds, period. Y'all, I was at work when I read that. And when I tell you that just, I was so tickled. I laughed out loud for real, y'all. OMG, it was so funny. But anyway, <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, good people. Child, thank you, honey one. And child, I got a little bit of, I got a little bootylicious back there. It's a little bit of bootylicious back there. Child, look, what y'all thought? Y'all thought I was big boned. How you spell that? <laughs> How you spell it? B-O-N-E-D-I-D. -E big bone dead. Don't be no hater. Y'all know them was bars. Good morning. <laughs> Y'all, I was so tickled. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Okay, let's set the intention for this morning. Okay, today is an amazing day, and great and amazing things are going to happen for us today. Mm-hmm. Today is an amazing day, and great and amazing things. How you? When you gonna let me, Miss Park? I ain't. I'm celibate. What is that? The word abstinence? Still celibate? One um, one um. I wasn't going to say the cuss word. Y'all know what they said on Friday when, when you going to let me <laughs> ain't, period. Anyway, I'm back. Uh, today's an amazing day. And great amazing things are going to happen for us today. I hope y'all woke up in good spirituals. If not, you're going to get some over here. Okay, I'm back, period. Okay, so y'all tap screen, share like, share the love. Let's get, what? Well, how we feeling today? We feeling like a billion. I'm fresh dressed like a billion bucks. Uh, I want to instill some confidence this morning. Child, you better be confident in, your, in yourself and how you look and how you feel, period. So drop. If you know you on fire, if you know you got that confidence, like, child, look. Eh, look at me now. Look, that's my song. Who did, what the little girl is? This? Oh, not little girl. I'm sorry, honey, honey. Look at her now. Ariana Grande. That's her name. Hey, Ariana Grande, Nim. Look at her now. Wife go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at her now. 
Watch it go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wow. Look at it now. Drop some fire in the chat. So you know that you on fire. You know you abundant. You know you lit. We lit and that's it. Period. We lit and that's it. Great morning, billionaires. Drop some fire in the chat. Okay. Good morning, Blue the Wise Nim. Okay, y'all. We got to get started. Look, come on. Put, drop the fire in the chat. If you know you lit and that's it. This so funny. This so funny. One of the messages that we got today, um, truly blessed them, was about rainbows too. Okay, we back. Okay, y'all, let's get this scripture going because we got some messages we got to talk about this morning. We are going to Joshua, the book of Joshua. Wait, let me make sure I got the right one, Lord. Yes, Joshua 1, 5, and 6. Joshua 1, 5, and 6. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so Joshua 1, 5, and 6. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so will I will be with you. Let me tell y'all something. God. Padre God said what he said, and he not, and he finna open some doors, Lord. He finna do something. Wait a minute, why I don't feel no air conditioning? Hold on, y'all. Well, Padre God, it was hot. Let me get some air blowing up in this thing. What an air conditioning. Don't be no, don't be judging me, child. I had to get some air blowing. It was hot. Okay, I'm back. No one will be able to stand against you. We've been talking about this, and we're going to reiterate it again. Child, you can't do nothing about what Padre God said. Y'all better start. Look, this is the thing, y'all. When you are really, when you out here about your father's business, hey, honey, honey, hey, Jamaica, them. When you out here about your father's business, can't no, when somebody try to come against you, they really not going against you, baby. They going against Padre God. Y'all better leave him alone. Oh, I'm just saying, I be having an understanding of why Padre God, like they be, if, I guess people have be, don't be understanding. They be like, fear the Lord. Yep. I'm scared. You know why? Because somebody who control the whole earth is the universe, the everything make just everything. He control everything. You think I want to go up against him? Now, nah, babe, I'm going to stand 10 toes down period for Padre God. Cause I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be on the wrong side of him. So don't. And if you read the Bible, and y'all know I be in this word, listen, if you read the Bible, when I tell y'all Padre God, a gangster, you, you, love you, love you with my whole heart, I'm going to stay on this side. I'm going to stay on this side. You ain't got to stay if you don't want to, but eh, I'm going to stay on this side. Okay, I'm back. So I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Come on, spirit. You got to know when you try to look, sometimes we be feeling like God be the left us because sometimes he get a little quiet, don't it? Sometimes he don't give you every answer that you're looking for because he wants you to also learn how to just trust in him and be faithful and just allow him to do what he's going to do. Sometimes, y'all, we be sitting and we be having to wait. And, you know, we be talking about like the he'll make a he'll teach us patience. He'll take us the scenic route. He'll allow things and people to come up against us. But like we, I think we talked about it yesterday and we've been talking about it. He only going to let so much endure, especially for those who come on spirit, especially for people when you over here staying in your lane and you really just out here about your father business and you ain't bothering nobody. You ain't mess with nobody. Now, I understand he going to make you go through some tests. Now, he going to do that. You're going to have to go through some tests. However, he ain't going to just let no. Oh, come on, spirit. I got chills. He ain't just going to let people be over here trying to mess with you just for the sake of messing with you because they messy or because they didn't allow they shadow to overrun them. They were out there working with the enemy. Child, he ain't going to keep going for that, especially when you really are out here spreading the good Lord of Jesus Christ or the word of Jesus Christ really out here doing what he's asking you to do walking in the purpose that he has for you child he ain't gonna y'all better sit down so what sit down sit down because padre god told y'all yesterday karma knock and knock knock here come karma be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land i swore to their ancestors to give them some of y'all you don't even understand how padre god is expanding you in this seat in this season 
He's giving you new territory. He's stepping you into territory that you and you never even thought or imagined that you would be able to own and operate in. Some of y'all, you getting ready to have this growth and expansion, this elevation, and it's going to be so astronomical. And it's simply because you continue to show up for yourself, continue to show up for him. Okay. I'm telling you, he's doing great and amazing things. So that's where he took me this morning. Like just saying, no, no one can stand against you. And he's going, he's always going to be with you. You got to believe it. All that do it. Look, message God's dispatch. I'm telling y'all, Padre God ain't playing out here. Okay. Let's set this intention. I'm, I got to do two this morning because this is important on this so that y'all understand because I do this. I should be doing this all the time. And I, I, you, I normally do this when I start pulling cards. But let me just say this. We tapping in with spirit, spirit guides, ancestors, angels, and ascended masters of the highest and purest light vibration and energy of the highest and purest light vibration and energy. Padre God, give me the strength, the wisdom, and the courage to do the things you put me here to do in a way that pleases you and serves the people you put me here to serve. Archangel Gabriel, remove me. Allow me to be a clear and open channel of love, light, and healing energy for all who need to receive it today. Archangel Raphael, open our hearts, our ears, our eyes, and our minds to the truth, clarity, wisdom, and guidance of our Father God who art in heaven. Archangel Michael, I'm putting him last because I need you to understand the importance of protection. Archangel Michael, thank you for blessing me, protecting me, protecting my children, protecting my family, protecting my collective. Send all negativity, negative energy, low vibrational energy sent intentionally or unintentionally from those known and unknown, including ourselves. Return it to sender with love, light, and healing energy. Return it better than it was sent to us. May I only speak the words to God's people that elevate, empower, uplift, and encourage them every day and in every way. Amen, 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 and amen. And so it is. Period. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, child, listen. I need you to know that God is protecting every step, every move, everything ahead of you. It is already protected. It is already done. Okay, oh, let's do it. Y'all, we got, let's get into these messages. Where am I peeing at, Lord? Because, baby, I'm going to just tell y'all, let me start off with this. So, I had the weirdest dream, right? I had the weirdest dream. And so, the, but this is the thing. Well, yeah, <laughs> Oh, no momento. But see, I had told y'all about come, but see, y'all keep coming with the dreams. So I figured that Padre God want me to go ahead and be paying attention. Now, I realize the dreams can be manipulated and stuff, but I know that y'all really showing me some hidden enemies. Child, they came through today and showed some hidden enemies. Because look, now this going to go into another message that I had. Some of y'all, you done got hip. You is hip to the game. Okay? So... Wait a minute. What happened? Thank you for asking, love. How? Okay, I'm back. Okay, look. You didn't got hip. You've clo remember we've been talking about closing doors and like new cycles beginning. It's a cycle that's over. It's a cycle. It's over and it's done. Cause some of you, you didn't got hip. So, oh, come on, spirit. So maybe. It could be for some of y'all, like you realize maybe someone was siphoning your energy or it's like they talked about energy vampires this morning, y'all. I cannot make it up. Energy vampires. Like maybe you became hip to the fact that somebody was feeding off your energy or something. You shut a door. You was just like, maybe this person, like you, you noticed that you were feeling tired, depleted, worn out, negative thought patterns and stuff. Because what's also happening, it's almost like, and I just got to say this. Some of y'all, this could be like an ex-person, an ex-lover, ex-relationship or something like that. And when you close the door, it's like they no longer had access to your energy, right? And so because you close the door and no long, they no longer have access to your energy. And I think I talked about this the other day, y'all. Like sometimes your energy can be like a drug to someone. They can be like addicted to your energy. And this especially can happen if you um, 
of course if you had sex with a person you can create that soul tie and so a lot of us are cutting cords right we've cut cords with people places things that we realize were just draining us and so as a result of that somebody mad i'm gonna just say this y'all because y'all what i, I kid y'all not I spent a lot of time in the ethers, meditating, talking to God, really understanding because he's expanding my gifts that way. Y'all, look at the bottom of the deck. See, this is what I love about God. The gavel. I'm telling, oh, come on, spirit, spiritual court, spiritual court, y'all, spiritual justice, this gavel card coming in. I'm telling y'all, you didn't end a cycle. You said enough is enough. Decisions made, pay attention, offer accepted, court order being judged i told y'all yesterday karma is knocking look at serious situation important decision assertion so because you've asserted yourself and you didn't cut something out somebody getting judged up there in the ethers name in spiritual court you cut somebody out you said oh no because you realized what they were doing right how they were draining you or depleting you and that and i'm gonna just tell y'all for some of y'all the exes your exes exes child there's so many people because y'all know it'd be a little bit of jealousy and envy that's going around and stuff right and so Padre God is just like he may have hipped you to the game and was like look you need to go on ahead and, and close this door completely some of y'all maybe you didn't even realize and I know this is true for myself as well so I received this Padre God because you know we didn't already chopped it up about this like you closed the door and somebody got mad now let me tell y'all about this dream so in this dream there was a particular person and this is one of my exes y'all know i'm transparent this is one of my exes one of my exes was in the dream right but the ex we gotta talk we're gonna talk about come on 222 we're gonna talk about the the magic part of it too okay i'm back so this particular ex who i've closed the door on was in my dream but there was another angel there was an angel in the dream as well okay it's two parts but let me tell y'all about it so the first part it was like this poisonous caterpillar don't don't be judging me y'all it was a poisonous caterpillar okay it was like this poisonous caterpillar and the caterpillar had been bit i don't even know who it was that the caterpillar bit lord i don't know but it bit somebody on the head and then it had like this real big pus bubble i know it's kind of graphic sorry but it was like this real big pus bubble and and the caterpillar had like these horns on it and it had a little purple piece on it anyway i'm back and so then the person came and asked me to help them get the pat the caterpillar off and so I was going to help him get the caterpillar off, but then the caterpillar came off by itself. And then, but when like it started like coming off, like somebody hit it a little bit. Cause I don't know. Well, who, who else that was? Anyway, I'm back. I don't know who all these people were. And so when the caterpillar came off, we was trying to look for the caterpillar, but then we couldn't find it. And so then I was like, y'all help me look for this caterpillar because it was poisonous and they didn't want to help me look for it but i couldn't rest child because i couldn't find that caterpillar so that was the first part of the dream okay i'm back and so then a what tomato worm child let me look it up and look at it hold on let me write it down tomato worm child i don't know what kind of what it was but that's what it was in my dream but i'm looking that up okay i'm back so then the next part was like this ex and the ex just randomly showed up out of nowhere and so then i was like you know what you doing here and child he had to pack the bag and everything <laughs> wait <laughs> hold on mama because y'all know i got to laugh at that what y'all know he did he had a bag packed and everything baby he had not started putting clothes in the drawer and so then I was getting ready to, to rent this house from this angel. And the angel was like, well, what you going to do about him? Now, don't y'all be laughing at me about this dream, okay? Because this really happened. I can't make it up. So I was, she, I was, she was like, 
it's gonna be six hundred dollars that's what she said in the dream y'all know don't know how it's cost six hundred dollars but anyway she was like you gonna rent this house she was like doing okay just give me the six hundred dollars which is gonna be like the first month's rent and i was like okay and so i went to give her the money i was finna cash app her and then i realized like some money was gone and so when the money was gone I looked at the ex who was over there putting some clothes in his in a drawer like he was finna move in and I was like did you steal my money so he come giving me some piece of paper or something talk about oh yeah if the money went over here to this and I was like so you just stole my proceeds and so anyway y'all and he was like laughing about it and so then I, I took okay this don't don't you know hate her okay so then i had <laughs> i can't make this up y'all i had two cans of coke and y'all know how the cokes used to come on the little plastic things or whatever the little they hell i don't know if they they still come like that i don't know child i don't be i don't drink soda and so i had two cans of coke and so i was holding it by the little plastic thing and so i threw the two cans of soda at him and they missed but then he threw one of the cans of soda back at me and i had like this superhuman y'all i was in the matrix i was like whoo and then i had caught it but then i woke up i don't know but anyway all of this had happened up in the ethers and stuff so this goes to talk about how somebody <laughs> that's the, that was what the dream was so this is that what they were talking to me about is how you didn't successfully close the chapter in a cycle and somebody mad because they no longer have access to your energy well i had to tell them what the dream was i was just saying so anyway the spirit realm is real y'all no one can stand against you when god is standing for you we talked about that with joshua 1 5 and 6 y'all can't nobody stand up against you it probably do child but listen i don't know nothing about dream interpretation that ain't never been one of my gifts but if Padraig, Padraig got it, that's what you want me to do but i'm just saying so be mindful y'all because what's what's happening is there are hidden enemies that are being exposed okay hidden enemies being exposed so the power of the tongue they talked about today okay what this go go with what y'all oh that was that card okay well i'm back oh they said i got to talk about this again judgment archangel gabriel blowing the horn judgment card coming through like y'all i told i'm telling y'all right now padre god had enough of the foolishness okay foolishness girl literally just hating and copycatting i don't know what they're talking about I'm going to ask for clarity. I think I have the understanding because when I asked Padre God about it this morning, it was basically just that, what I was telling y'all. Good morning, Chris Curls. Good morning, y'all. Whoever I missed. Good morning, y'all. Um, That's what they were talking about, like hidden enemies being exposed. Because this is the thing, y'all. Y'all need to be asking Padre God to show you people's intentions, show you. He'll even show you who is working against you, whether this is family, friends, exes, Ex, the exes of exes the exes new people whoever he will show you who is working against you and that's one of the things because it's just it's just been like him showing me different things about the spirit realm and and the visions i've been having so he's showing me how to ex expand upon those gifts so yeah look at the scales back there y'all it scales on this card i'm telling you the karma justice is being served so be on the right side of god okay be on the right side okay what's next so we have the night that's coming in this card is talking about confident y'all didn't we drop some fire in the chat because you know you confident and you're standing with it like you're owning your power and accepting who you are thank y'all this is like the knight of wands too so some of y'all getting ready to be on the move big leo energy hey heroic messenger message persevering chivalry why well, i feel like some of y'all have a fire sign that's finna come in towards you male or female don't matter determined obeying orders telling y'all brave daring strong champion of a cause so some of you 
are moving forward victoriously towards your dreams, your goals, what Padre God is asking you to do, being obedient. Oh, my nose started itching. Some of you are going to have to make a quick, I talked about this, did I talk about this yesterday? I did. You finna have to make a quick pivot, a quick change, because it's like Padre God is changing the direction, the direction that he needs you to go in. So be confident, okay? Be confident that he really is leading and guiding you into something that's going to be victorious. Celebration. I already told y'all, somebody, you're going to get invited to something. You got to go too. Oh, look, slow and steady. Keep pushing forward. That's that night card, y'all fighting spirit like this is you like y'all you this the thing child look padre god, well padre god you be having us to go through some things down here child i'm talking about <laughs> y'all sometimes it be a challenge don't it to keep going to keep pushing and that be part of our test it'd be a challenge just to wake up i just sat on the side of the bed so many days and just been like oh <sighs> Okay, but you still get up. You still got to serve, okay? No one... Oh, we talked about that. Okay. You can have anything you want, deserve, and desire. They talked to me this morning about the power of the tongue. So it is up to you whether you speak life or death into your sis, your situation, your energy, what it, your, your dreams, your goals. It is up to you how you move forward with this night car coming out as well. Are you going to move? Are you going to speak life into what you want to see come to fruition? Because God is saying, listen, that said up to Mars. Oh, it's up from here. You got to speak life, speak life and energy into what it is that you're trying to birth, what it is that you're trying to do. And this is also speaking life into yourself, y'all. Like Padre God has really been talking to me a lot about the power of the tongue and how you can either kill a dream or grow a dream based upon the energy that you're giving it. Babe, because this is the thing. If you already got people that are fighting against your dream, your vision, trying to keep you down, hold you back, not see you become successful Padre God is saying the way to go against that is you have to believe in what it is that you're going to do or what you want to do where you see yourself going you have to be your own cheerleader your best cheerleader you better be your rah-rah squad squad you don't need anybody but Padre God to back you up oh he's talking to me about wealth and creating victory and success in your life and it's like look People be thinking that the only like you, you, we can don't get me wrong, y'all, because I'm looking for like we we have mentors that come into our lives to teach us things. But ultimately, God is the ultimate mentor and he needs to be the author of every story that you write, every endeavor that you put your energy into. Like he really wants to be at the he needs to be at the head of your life because he's the one that's ultimately going to create wealth within you and then create wealth outside of you. Now, listen y'all i'm gonna say this real quick because he put this in my spirituals listen i am not the end all and be all i'm not no bible scholar i'm not any of these things but if god is using me and he's using the bible in order to show me different things there are pastors preachers prophets see i don't care i don't care about all these names i don't care about none of that okay all i care about is serving god that's it and so He's, and I don't know, why are you bringing this up? See, people be worried too much about these names and these titles and, and, and you can't be a prophet of a, if this and you can't be a seer if that and you can't be an evangelist. I don't care nothing about none of these names. I don't know no definitions. All I know is I'm called to serve. How do I serve? I read tarot. I think he tested me yesterday because people ask you, like when people ask me what I do, I read, I, what do I talk? Someone asked me about God, like, what do I talk about on my lives? And I was like, God, tarot. And this, the thing, I'm not ashamed of what I do. I'm not ashamed of how God has me serving. I love reading tarot because this is just a tool, y'all. As y'all see, I don't need tarot cards to give a message. That is the point. And that's what people have to understand about tarot readers. We only do this so that we can know the specific message that God wants us to give. But I don't need no cards to give no message. The only reason I do that we use these cards is to reiterate the downloads, the activations, the messages that I'm getting
getting anyway. So that's the, that's what a lot of people don't understand about tarot. And they'll, people are going to talk against it. Baby, I don't care about none of that. I don't care. And some of you, that's the idea and the attitude that you have to have. It's like you can talk about me. You don't have to watch me. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to believe I'm chosen. I'm not looking for outside validation. I'm not looking for someone else to tell me whether I'm called or not. God is the one and the authority. Oh, come on, spirit. And he's the one who said, oh, that's my child right there. Leave her alone. Touch not my anointing. Oh, I got chills. We don't care about what anyone else has to say about our gifts, how we use them, how we show up. And for some of you, this is the test. Are you going to stand 10 toes down on knowing that you are a chosen of God, that you are a vessel that he is calling to you to serve through? Like, that's it, y'all. I'm telling you right now, that's your test, okay? You got to believe that. Thank you, dearest one. So just so, so. This is about, once again, you being confident in your gifts and in what you do. Baby, I go toe-to-toe I, I -to -toe with anybody who want to tell me that I can't use tarot to, speak, to, to talk about God. And will, and, and will, and don't care nothing about it. Because this is how God uses me. This is the thing. So many people, and now, just like in the church, just like in religion, just like in spirituality, there's always going to be people who are using it for the wrong purposes, y'all. No, everyone ain't doing the right things. And I'm sorry for that. But at the same time, I'm not, I can't do nothing about what anyone else is doing. You understand? I can only serve the way that God is asking me to serve. So for some of y'all, that's important on this. Okay, let's move on. Oh, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in thy hands, lest thy dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under foot. I don't know. That's Psalms 91, if you don't know. He said that this morning. So you got angels fighting on your behalf. I need to say this real quick. What y'all said? Now, I just got to keep it the buckles with y'all. Y'all know I be talking to spirit Nim, the ancestors Nim, right? And so some of your some of your ancestors didn't like you in life, and they're not gonna like you in death. You understand? Um, I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. So be mindful because one of the things that is coming through y'all, there is no one beyond God for me. Like that, God is the end all and be all. However, when I commune with spirit them, that's my mama them. Y'all, my, my mama is my numero uno spirit guide. There are some ancestors that I don't talk to. You understand? There are some ancestors that I don't talk to. There are some ancestors that my guardian angels, my spirit guides, keep me separate from because they didn't like me in life, so they ain't going to like me in death. Y'all better know you got some folks, if they didn't like you in life, they're not going to like you in death. So this is also, this is why it's important on this to make sure that you recognize, I don't know why, why y'all telling me this. We don't make we don't make our spirit guides, ancestors, angels, anyone like that our idols. So don't get the game twisted. Everything comes from God. Everything. And just like I can sit up and, and talk to Padre God in the middle of this live, I sit up and talk to Spirit Nam. These are my ancestors, angels, spirit guides, ascended masters. But you gotta learn how to know the difference. There's they they, they just said something about my sheep know my voice. They know y'all, y'all better know God's voice. And that's in the mornings, y'all, before I come on live, I meditate and I, I talk to God for literally almost two hours. Y'all, I read the Bible. I talk to God, have real conversations. So I'm telling you, like, you got to make sure that you're building that relationship and that connection. Okay. Okay. We talked about that. What's next? Okay. Okay, somebody need this. And they said it was important on this this morning when I was in meditation. Okay, somebody. Okay, be mindful of advice encouraging you to stay in toxic or abusive, low vibrational situations. Oh, look, two cars and came off. Let's see what it is. Y'all, we're not just talking about tools. Can y'all see that card? We're not just talking about how tarot is simply a tool. It is simply a way to connect. Okay, practical abilities, resources, what has what it takes. Build it, fix it, organization, 
task at hand, well prepared equipment. <laughs> okay. This is using all the tools that are available to you, but they want me to. Huh? Oh, okay. Well, who's trying to block somebody gifts? Okay, listen. Be mindful of advice encouraging you to stay in a toxic, abusive, low vibrational situation. Listen, y'all. Everybody ain't got good advice. And I'm going to just be honest. And I'm going to tell you this as well. Even if you come on here and listen to me, right? You better go talk to Padre God and, and know whether something is, if, if even if my message is for you or it's not. Listen, y'all, every single thing is not going to apply for you, okay? So that's why we be like, take it how it resonates in your spirituals. You gonna know if you're going through something, but don't be trying to make everything fit to your situation because everything ain't your situation. I don't know who needed to hear that. Be mindful if someone is trying to encourage you to stay in a situation that you know. Y'all, I know it, but y'all is itching my face. Of someone trying to make you stay in something that you know is toxic. Now, understand this, y'all. I think that healing can happen in any situation. But sometimes, baby, you know that you can't fix something, okay? Tools. You know that you can't fix a thing. You may, oh, Gigi, girl. Oh, no, I'm to... Girl, where you been? Look at the red birds near. Gigi. Hold on, y'all. Let me... Girl... Girl, where you been? Yeah, I got an attitude. Child, I've been calling you for 50 long days. You have been acting funny. Uh. You can't be like that because I ain't picked you up from the dealership yet. You can't be like that. I didn't told you that I had to wait a minute because I had some things I had to do first, girl. You can't. Well, yeah, I see you cute. Stop trying to change the subject. Huh. Where you been? What where, where, where you been? You better not been riding nobody around. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. Period. Tuh. Well, I was just saying, girl, I missed you. What you was doing? Girl? Okay, well, go on on. You finna go get washed and stuff. Okay, well, go on on, get washed. Okay, I'll talk to you in a minute. Let me finish with the people now. Okay, I ain't mad no more, but I was just asking where you was. Okay, try let me make me turn on the GPS. Okay, I'm back. Anyway. Child that was GG. Child, she been acting up. She been acting funny. I've been calling her for 15 days and she ain't said nothing. Anyway, I'm back. Y'all don't know who GG is. Child, that's my dream car told you is power in the tongue you better speak it into existence look at her cousin y'all see this is what i be talking about look at cuz just went by that was her whole cousin oh, oh now all y'all want to show up y'all didn't invite me to the cookout i feel some type of way i was just talking about the other day that i had wanted a whole plate and stuff y'all didn't even bring me no plate no ribs no macaroni no baked beans no nothing and now y'all want to come by flossing flexing on me they be doing too much. Mm -mm. I, I don't even want to talk to y'all anymore. Okay, I'm back. Y'all seen that? Y'all didn't see it, but they just passed by. Child, they were trying to flex on me. Uh-uh, I ain't fooling with no. I I have to make the potato salad, child. I can't I can't eat everybody potato salad. Mm -mm, I can't do that. Okay, I'm back. Okay, that's all we're gonna talk about on that car. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. Okay, what's next? illusions what isn't real being revealed bars okay illusions it's an illusions card in this in this deck too y'all you you getting a revelation i'm telling y'all it's like some real things that's coming and being shown to being shown to you y'all we keep getting this card too y'all better not go the yacht when we talking about sail away the other day this card keep coming up i already told y'all y'all better somebody finna travel what else y'all want to talk about? Comfort, wealth. What are we just talking about? Well, this card keep coming up. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. The rings then came out. Oh, who finna fall in love? 
contracts, agreements, bonds, strong. Y'all, somebody getting married. You getting married on a boat? Y'all better invite me. Y'all know I love the water. Some of y'all going to meet your person when you travel in your travels. You finna have somebody finna have a new contract. Mm hmm. Y'all might y'all. This is a soulmate. This is so. OK. Well, how y'all want me to talk about that? OK. OK, y'all, this is beautiful. So for some of y'all. You're getting ready to meet your soulmate. Why are they scared? Somebody's a little scared to say something to you. Like they scared to say something. Maybe because they oh they went through something traumatic. They were a little hurt, a little traumatized. It's okay, honey. One and this is we all go through a little bit of trauma, but healing does happen. I just posted on somebody's post about that the other day. Like, um, because he was talking about like you know dealing with narcissists and things like that and y'all know child i didn't deal with so many narcissists i could probably write a book about it i might need to huh i'm talking about it but anyway this is if that was even preparation as well and that may be why my ex showed up in my dream as well you got to learn how to recognize the flags and also i will say this for some of y'all the healing work that you've done is so that you could prepare for this soulmate who's actually your true partner the rest of these people were just karmics okay they were karmic connections people that you had to deal with in order to have this true person to come in but both of you, realize this y'all you be a mirror to your car your um divine partner your kingdom spouse your twin flame whatever you want to call it y'all be mirroring each other's energy somebody's gonna speak up though some of y'all, you gonna meet your person on the other side of a move. Okay, that's what they want to talk about on that. Okay, what else? Over and oh, they gave me some songs. Y'all, the I'm tell y'all, look, joy and pain. Frankie Beverly and Maze. Child, I had to listen to it this morning because they meant that. What part did where'd y'all where'd I write it at? Because y'all told it to me. Wait a minute. Over and over, you can be sure there will be sorrow, but you will endure. Where there's a flower, there's the sun and the rain. I don't sing. Sing it, Frankie. I hear it in my head, though. Joy and Pain. Go listen to that by Frankie Beverly and Mays. Y'all, that'll be my mama talking to me, child, whenever she comes through. Because she be coming through with Frankie Beverly and them. Ooh, here we go. Change your mind, change your life. What is this? Period. Oh, it's a tower. It's a significant change that's coming in, y'all. The tower card, thunderstorm. Cuz Nim. Power, destruction, trouble, a warning, energy shift, triumph over evil. Told y'all, Padre God, little red Corvette. Y'all, I did see Prince yesterday. Hey. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't call him. Hold on. Let me <laughs> let me get ready because he's gonna show up. Hold on. Spirit Bay. Hello? Hey, babe, what you was doing? Mm-hmm. I can't talk long. I got to talk to the people now. You had a good day. Mm, I'm so glad to hear it. Yeah, I seen you yesterday. I, I appreciate you coming through to give me that encouragement and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, they don't remember you. You know, you're immortal. I'm just saying. Well, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Yeah, child. I done told them that we reconciling and stuff. I don't care if they be no haters. You bay, and that's it. Okay, well, let me go back to the live chat. Because, you know, I begin distracted when you come around. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Anyway, I'm back. Hold on, let me look at him one more time. Uh, <laughs> Spirit Bay. Okay, I'm back. Um, conflict opportunity to overcome. Okay. So listen, y'all. There's definitely a tower moment that is coming in, a change in direction. This could also be an epiphany that they're showing me. Like there may be an idea that comes in. I'm gonna need you to act on this 
this idea that's coming in. Stepping outside your comfort zone, pro, um, promotions, full circle, a little scary, but don't worry, God's going to make a way. They're talking about that on this thunderstorm card. New horizons as well. Y'all pay attention to the signs. This morning I seen a sign because it's something that I'm getting ready to do, right? And this morning I was like, because Padre God, well, Padre God, you know I'm already ready already. Daddy, I'm ready. But anyway, he said, is, we got to go this final mile, okay? We got the push now. We got the push. We almost there. Like, T, what's that song? Tiana and the Princess and the Frog. We almost there, okay? So we got to keep going. Keep pushing. You almost there. Yes, I just got a promotion, period. Y'all, drop a congratulations in the chat for promotions and things. You can do it. Whatever it is, y'all, we got to step outside our comfort zone. We can't, we just can't. Some of y'all, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you've been looking for jobs, if you've been, because Padre God been on my neck about this. If you've been doing things that are the same and Padre God and already said it's not good enough for you and what I have for you. I want you to apply for that job that's a step up. Apply for that job that you don't think that you're qualified for. And keep applying for jobs that you don't think you're qualified for. These companies out here, y'all, they actually, they ask for all of these things but they're really just looking for the best candidates. So I want you to apply for the job that's a step up from what you're doing now, right? I'll use myself as an example for this. The job I have now is a step up from what I was doing before. You understand? Like you, we got to, we got to grow y'all. Don't keep applying for the same type of jobs. Don't keep, a, keep trying to do the same type of things, okay? Observe, listen, make a decision rainbows we talked about rainbows and god's promise that is coming in as well okay what else they said the meek shall inherit the earth i don't know where that said in the bible but they said it was in there so somebody put that in the chat because i don't know where it says the meek. they said the meek shall inherit the earth i'm gonna have to go read it okay so something is a no i'm just telling you look the answer is no the situation or event is not unfolding what's a no what's a no Child, they, they just said God didn't already told you no on something. This could definitely, ooh. Okay, y'all, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> for some of y'all, this ain't for everybody. Take how it resonates your spirituals. For some of you, the answer is no. This could definitely be related to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You Maybe you've been trying to make something work. Remember, we taught like the answer is no. Emotional idealist, emotionally connected, psychic, water sign. Let me just say this before I read what's on this card. Your intuitionals are trying to tell you it's something as well. If you've been asking for, it's something you already know that it just don't feel right. Um, your psychic abilities, right? Your, your intuitionals are trying to guide you. And a lot of times, y'all, we all guilty of, guilty of this. Look, we will ignore some flags. You're going to try to force something to happen. And I'm going to tell you right now, look at this bridge. Like Padre God then let to put the bridge up. Like it's going to be a hard stop. That tower coming back, that tower car coming back. It's going to be, he going to give you a hard no instead of a soft no. The answer is no. We try, Look, he will tell us no and we'll ignore it. Then we'll end up having to go through something that we didn't even want. We didn't even sign up to go through. So I'm going to tell you right now, this ain't for everybody. But if you if this your message, then you know it's your message. You better trust your intuitionals. If Spirit and had already told you this a no, please listen to that no. Very important on this empathic intuitive sensitive heart centered trust your heart feels deeply take things personally healer counselor advisor author okay some of y'all remember we talked about psychic guidance and I, they gave me that message talking about be mindful of of someone that's giving you advice encouraging you to stay in a toxic situation if you don't feel it don't force it i did a video about that not too long ago if you don't feel it don't force it because your spirituals are trying to show you they're trying to keep you from going through a tower moment i'm just telling you hot air balloon balance uplifting going with the flow rising above i'm telling y'all they're trying to save you from heartache disappointment y'all i'm just be i'm gonna keep it a buckles with y'all 
if I had to just trust it, y'all, your intuition will be telling you stuff. And I, this was crazy, y'all. I recorded videos and everything where it's like, man, I should have just listened to myself because my spirituals were trying to tell me something, but I didn't listen. But then when I finally was like, oh, I'm hip, I'm listening because I had to get a hard no. I had finally, it was just like, mm, yeah, that's a no for me, dog. So yeah, it's like spirit is trying to take you, help you to rise above. Someone y'all dealing with a psychic or tapped in as well, but they using their powers for, for, for the wrong reasons. Like they using their abuse of power. I don't like that energy. This is definitely somebody gaslighting. Now they're giving me this, like the, the balloon. There, somebody was gaslighting y'all. Why is somebody trying to steal y'all y'all's gifts? They can't steal your gifts. How they go? Okay, well, I don't like their energy. Okay, well, move them away, cause I don't like. Oh, that's that doppelganger y'all was talking about. Oh, they may be a water sign. They may be very psychic or tapped in as well, but they're using their gifts for the wrong reasons. That's why that karma coming around. Mm-hmm. Well, try to tell them to go on. Anyway, you're rising above it. Defying gravity, continuous flow, ascension, period. This is what's happening, y'all. Ain't we grateful for God? Man, listen, when I tell you, y'all, just if you're just grateful, if you're just grateful for God, like bringing you out of situations, like he's just removing you for things, just, oh, come on, spirit, just drop, y'all. I'm so, oh, oh, Lord, I love you with my whole heart. I don't get a, oh, y'all. The things that he has brought me out of. Do you understand? The things that I have beat. And it, and even when I wasn't on this walk with God. On this particular part of my journey y'all. When I tell y'all man God then brought me through some things. And he was fighting for me. Even when I didn't know he was fighting for me. Lord I'm so grateful. Lord I'm so grateful and I thank you so much. Okay next. Y'all better y'all got to be grateful. Just, just, just put in the chat. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I, I'm so grateful. And only you know what you done been through. Only you know what you done been through. Um, Mother, Heather, Heather, Heather McGowan, Tucker, them. What is your Zodiac sign? I got a very direct message. And, it's, um, and I don't know if this is for you or if this is for someone else. Because the two people who popped in my mind when I got this message... So I'm going to have to, you can inbox it to me on Facebook because I know we be talking on Facebook. Y'all think I don't be talking to y'all and responding? Child, I be talking to people when y'all be talking to me because I will get messages about y'all and this ain't about money, y'all. This is about your ancestors and guides. Child. Somebody, okay. I be talking to people, y'all. I love to talk to people. This was a very, and well, I don't know, maybe it could apply. Was it for multiple people? Well, I'm just say this because it was you and it was another air. I'm going to just say this is definitely related to an air sign. Okay. This is definitely related to an air sign that I ended up connecting with yesterday. I was sitting at work and I got a message. And so this could be several of y'all because it don't just be one ancestor that come through. But what the message was that they were giving me was there's someone that I, and I'm so happy and so grateful. Y'all, can I just say that I am so grateful for anyone who's willing to listen to me, who someone has reestablished their connection with God. And that was the thing. Maybe you went to God and, you know, something happened. Something happened in your life and you you thought that God was no longer with you. Like maybe you went for comfort. Maybe you went for answers. Maybe you were trying to, you know, 
like you you believed in him but then y'all let me tell you something when you're at your lowest point that's when the enemy will try to come in and keep you from really connecting with God because a lot of times and this is why he'll they say oh come on spirit that's why he just said in the scripture we just read I'll never leave you nor forsake you but a lot of times what will happen is that the enemy will come in when you're at your lowest point when you're begging God and you're you're asking for connection and you're asking him to help and you're asking him for healing and this that's when the enemy will come in and try to get you to turn your back on God so for someone whoever this message was for maybe you came over here and you were at a point where you were no longer believing in God or believing in how he can really help and heal but something that I may have said on this live or maybe it's a reading that I did for you I don't know but somebody you begin to believe again. You begin to believe in him. And even if it's just me being an inspiration and understanding that if he can do it for me at my lowest point, when y'all be, let me, oh, come on spirit. Y'all have to understand y'all been rocking with me through a time. Come on microphone. Y'all been walking with me through a time when I was at my lowest point and I never gave up on God. No matter what, I don't care what's been thrown at me. I don't care if I ain't have zero dollars and zero cents i don't care if i ain't had nowhere to stay i don't care i don't care i don't care i will not stop serving the lord powers come on spirit look i'm telling y'all that truck just passed by and it said powers pay attention to the signs and so you maybe you forgot or you stopped believing in the power of god and who he is and how he can restore and something about you coming over here something about you listening microphone just listening to the word maybe it was a scripture that i read, read that said oh my god let me listen at this maybe you decided to pick your bible back up because see people think that you got to go to church to get a word and it ain't about the church it's about the connection with God I don't I go to church every Sunday Bible study every Wednesday but it's still I'm still connecting with God every single day so it's something that maybe I said that prompted you to step back into that relationship with God and understanding that if he can do it for me he can do it for anyone including you and so you may have made a decision oh come on spirit you may have made a decision to step away from someone who was very toxic there and there's an ancestor who's like almost they're, they're coming through and they're so happy and so proud because for someone it took so much for you to be able to walk away from this person they were they were deceiving you they were trying to make you think that they were your partner and this is again they're giving me air sign energy this may be an have been a scorpio someone who was very low vibrational or maybe they have that water in their chart like we just got done talking about and you decided after listening or something you heard something gave you the power the strength within yourself oh excuse me spirit in order to really walk away from this person because they were you realize that they were manip manipulating you and gaslighting you and listening and oh come on spirit and just finding that strength within yourself is what gave you the ability to walk away reconnecting with god because see this person whoever this was they were blocking that connection with you and spirit they were manipulating your mind and keeping you away from that connection but you decided to say no i'm not going to allow you to do that anymore you begin to speak up for yourself and the more that you begin to talk about God and really re rebuild that connection, this person, they like it less and less and less because you're getting your power back and you're knowing who you are in God and how he's going to show up for you. So someone found the strength after you've listened to something, you found the strength to walk away. This could have been from an, an abusive relationship. This could have someone who's been like they trying to speak negatively against you. You're realizing that they weren't on your side and redeveloping that connection with our father who art in heaven okay i'm back Whew. <laughs> okay i'm back now heather i'm gonna say this again heather tucker you specifically and y'all this this really be how it is if this oh come on spirit look i felt it again whoever I, you specifically y'all i got chills you specifically came up when I got that download yesterday when I was sitting at my desk and I started to message you but I, I forgot but I said I was gonna say it today 
when I got on this live. And think I think what did it was because y'all, I really be talking to people. Come on, spirit. Listen, y'all. Oh, y'all, listen. I really will talk to y'all. This ain't about money, y'all. This is not about me trading my gifts in order for money. Like, that's not what it's about. When I get a message or a download about somebody, like me and Heather Tucker, we we, we communicate offline, y'all. Like, I, I talk to people for real. And so, like different signs and different wonders and things that you see. I can't give you all the answers, but you specifically came in when I had when I got that message yesterday, you specifically came up. Now, I'm not going I can't talk to everyone. You know what I'm saying? If you need a full consultation, of course you can book on my website. But if I get a download, y'all, I'm gonna tell you I got it. And that's it, okay? So maybe that was your sign or your synchronicity that you've been needing um y'all what that was a big old coca-cola truck y'all i cannot make this up then i just tell y'all i threw two coke bottles two cans of coke and some anyway i'm back microphone what this is about trending broadcast current events public speaking speaking truth communicate social media being heard speaking up period okay okay here we go y'all oh it's 10 o'clock was that final words of guidance i reckon Last one, y'all. Eclipse. Dear John and the cross. Okay, let's talk about these and then this it, y'all. Because that went, I had to give that message real quick. Sacrifice. Y'all, when you just pick up your cross, it be heavy sometimes, but you got to keep on, you got to keep on going. Down for the cause, puts others first for the greater good. That's what we here for, y'all. For the greater good. For the greater good. Um purpose driven heed the call telling y'all can't make it up eclipse union of opposites conceal event mask upstage transform y'all something is definitely being removed out of your life okay there is something you're deciding to pick up your cross and follow god you're deciding to keep going keep persevering yes you're gonna have to make some sacrifices no it's not easy some of y'all might be putting in a what resignation with this dear john letter or you may be deciding to walk away told y'all from something toxic rejection breaking up set boundaries divorce y'all didn't i just get done talking about this you found the strength the wisdom and the courage to walk away from someone who you know was toxic cutting cords something's not working the end final word okay so, period and that's all i got okay god gonna give you the strength he gonna give you the strength i'm telling you he gonna give you the strength <laughs> all right that's it y'all that's all i got lord i hope this helps somebody Y'all, make sure you go sign up for Tarot University on my website, touchejermaine.com. Go enroll in Tarot U, okay? Go enroll in Tarot U. Get access to the Facebook community. We have our next Tarot University Teach Me How to Tarot Masterclass on June the 10th, 2023 at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure y'all go sign up. Okay, so what else? Of course, we'll be here tomorrow for this morning's message. I love y'all in real life. Shout out to Hustle Bunny for your donation. Go sign up on my website, child, touchejermaine.com. It's going to be a Zoom call, y'all. And I'm, I was decide at first I was like, oh no, I'm just going to be doing speaker. No, but I'm going to be interacting with y'all. Y'all are actually going to be a part of these courses. Okay. Just want y'all to know that. So yeah, it's going to be on Zoom. Okay child look can't nobody say thank you hustle bunny thank you hustle bunny for your donation yesterday i appreciate you so much um yes y'all go enroll in tarot you on my website touchejermaine.com um that's it hydrate your soul and things drink your water say your gratitude have an amazing day on purpose Oh, honey, honey, if I don't get right back to you, it'll be because I'm getting ready to go to work, y'all. I'm getting ready to go to work. So hydrate your soul and things. Drink your water. Say your gratitude. Have an amazing day on purpose. I love y'all in real life. That's it. Hey, my K Sparks. I love you. Child, why didn't see you till now? I'm sorry, honey, honey. Shout out to my moderators, K Sparks, Natural Greatness, Leah Pusky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love y'all. Okay, y'all have a great and amazing day. And I will see y'all in the morning. Y'all, I'm going to record some videos. Anyway, love y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Child, listen.